will get it done? Okay, let me tell you what the it is. As mayor, I expanded health care coverage. As president, I'll build on Obamacare because health care is a right. I created nearly 500,000 jobs in New York City. As president, I'll build an economy that delivers good jobs with higher wages. I'll take on the gun lobby and save lives. And I will stop Trump's assault on women's reproductive rights. I've got a record of doing things. I've got the resources to take on this fight. As mayor, I held myself accountable for results. As president, I'll offer common sense plans and I will get it done. So let's stay on the offensive and let's win. I'm Mike Bloomberg and I approve this message. Honestly, moving to a retirement community never crossed my mind. Until that awful winter. I was stuck in my house for days. But now that I live at my Erickson living community, I can enjoy myself. The bad weather doesn't get in my way. I can't wait to see what tomorrow brings. Learn more about retirement living at Ashby Ponds, Greenspring, or Riderwood. Call today for your free brochure. With Redfin, when you see a home you love, you can book a tour on demand, so you can see homes first. And with your local Redfin agent guiding you, the right home is closer than you think. The city of Alexandria is recognizing a former firefighter, not only for his bravery on the job, but also for his role in breaking down barriers. Back in 1969, Gerald Wanzer became Alexandria's second black fired firefighter. Wanzer says he faced racism, but he kept on going out of a sense of duty to his community and, of course, to fulfill a childhood dream. Young firefighters today say he opened the door for them. I had a wife, two young children, so I was basically trying to keep food on the table and try to boost my position. I have had to work hard, but I know it's people like him who have done just that edge more to make sure that I get what I deserve. Yesterday, firefighters recognized Wanzer for, by making him an honorary lieutenant. First Lady Melania Trump spent part of her Valentine's Day visiting children at the National Institutes of Health Children's Inn. It's the third year in a row the First Lady visited for the holiday. She met with several kids battling medical conditions. And you can see it on their faces just how much they enjoyed meeting her. Valentine's Day is more than just a day of, for lovers of people, but to some it's just an excuse to binge on chocolate. Chris and Powers is at a chocolate shop in Reston making those sweet treats. Happy Valentine's Day, the day of love. And what better way to celebrate than to actually make chocolates? I'm here at Chesapeake Chocolates with the owner, Doris Tyler. You guys are quite busy on we this day. Are, yes. You were telling me lines uh, out the store. Yes. All yes, right. So yes. talk to me. How do you even make this? You guys have so many amazing things. You have some cutouts. You have, are these Oreos? Chocolate Dip Oreos. Oreos. Okay. I love these. But this big chunk of chocolate, what's the process of even making your chocolates here? So we take a 10 pound bar of chocolate and we break it, melt it, and put it into the tempering machine. And this if you guys at home could only smell this. <laughs> you said you, you don't even smell it anymore, no, but no. wow. Yes, so we tempered the chocolate. This lets us work with dipping truffles, making barks, dipping Oreos. All right, so and today you said you're gonna teach me how to dip a truffle. I'm gonna dip a truffle. <laughs> what's okay. your secret, what's the magic? Dip it in there. All right. Shake it off a little bit. Look at all of that chocolate drizzle. If that doesn't scream Valentine's Day, I don't know what does. So I'll do one more. I throw it in, but I, I saw your technique earlier was <laughs> to leave it on the wand. So <gasps> there so we go. It right there. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna give this a try, everyone. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll get hired from here and I won't be coming back to the station if I do a great job. Okay, so you dip it. Oh, oh, I think I lost my chocolate. Okay, here it is. <laughs> Swimming chocolate, everyone. All right, so here it is. You place it on here. Perfect. Oh, it's not as perfect as yours. Yours was a lot better than mine, but you know, it's, I put love into it, so that's all that counts. But so many amazing things here that, uh, you know, are so Valentine's Day festive and you can even decorate with these little hearts awesome so i'm gonna keep working at this but i'll take your orders uh in studio if you guys want anything but i'm gonna i need some practice i think doris do you okay. agree okay. <laughs> i need some practice so i'm gonna toss it back to you yeah so kristen uh, said it was you know very difficult making those chocolates um but sometimes those jobs that 
appear really easy yeah. to make it look really nice it's like you yeah. think decorating a cake how hard could it be until, until you're like you do it. until you have one of those piping things yeah. it's like whoa and this it's is not, not working cool. out all right so uh the weather you know it's cold out there today it's snuggle finally, up it, with your v-day buddy yeah, when i was growing up in detroit we had a weather caster who okay. would issue snuggle alerts oh. so tonight because it's valentine's yes. day it's a snuggle alert kind of night uh captiva island florida want to try to warm everyone up look how pretty it is there but temperatures in the 70s not the case in chicago live view so far this season they've had over 25 inches of snow and have wind chill factors right now at six below zero for us, the flags are blowing over at the Embassy of Sweden over toward Georgetown.